2009, we made history with the election of President Barack Obama. He called us to service, as there remains much work to do to end unemployment, poverty, and crime in our communities. There's so many books on how we can accomplish this. But this year, everyone's raving about this summer's hottest new book, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America by Chicago's own Emmanuel Barbie. A graduate of Northeastern Illinois University, Barbie addresses key ways we back our families and communities. But unlike so many other books on this topic, Barbie captivates his reader, presenting solutions through a riveting life story. It's entertaining, it's different, it's exciting. The perfect book club selection. Don't be left out. Get your copy of The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America. Order today at Amazon.com. Hello, welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. This is a special edition. On Saturday, November 10th, 2018, will mark 27 years that I've been sharing my vision with Black America and others online and in real life. I will host my event on Facebook Live from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Time. I'm inviting, I'm inviting everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups to participate if they can. You can speak with me directly through Facebook Messenger as a voice call. I'm asking all of my Christian friends worldwide to please be in agreement that God would connect me with donors who will help me raise 400000 to cover my film project in Jesus' name. Also stand in agreement that God will connect me with quality film crew and cast and that my film will be a hit in both national and international movie theaters just like the Black Panther film. In Jesus name. It's my hope that through my story. I can finally reach the masses. About the vision God has called me to. Do for my people. Who are. Trapped in American ghettos. This is my last attempt to do something positive. For my racial group. I am seeking like-minded millennials who are actors, artists, authors, comedians, dancers, fashion designers, filmmakers, gospel singers, models, musicians, poets, and upcoming entrepreneurs. I'm also seeking secular artists to participate in my upcoming film, Hood Liberator, Made in Chicago, which is based on my revised book, the Solution for Black America. I'm using my online talk show as a platform for ordinary law-abiding community activists, artists, church leaders, and small business owners to promote their products and services with my listeners from the podcast community. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by sharing, sharing with them how to create their own podcast or create their own YouTube channel and earn revenue from it. I also assist people on my friends list with finding um, college scholarships, grants, housing, legal services, all for free. All I ask them to do for me is to purchase my revised book, and share my book information with their family, friends, places of worship, and also at their local community center. This will help speed up the process for me to get my message out, and as well as for me to generate capital, so that way I can hire qualified people to help me run my um, Christian business. I created GERCAM, the Grassroots Community Activist Movement, back in... November 1991 on a site called Gopher because I was dissatisfied with all of the division taking place among black people. I wanted to start a new movement 
in black America and throughout the African diaspora in order to connect with other like-minded progressive African Americans, African immigrants, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Caribbeans, as well as non-black sympathizers, all Christian denominations, moderate moderate Muslims and secular people who are interested in solving black issues um, starting in the city of Chicago. Another reason I created Percam was because established black organizations in Chicago refused to work with me. And so I was like, well, that's no, no problem. I just take my uh, talents and skills elsewhere and connect with people online. And so that's what I did. My goal was to make Recam a digital platform to empower black men and black women who are having a unique experience in America. Finally, I created Recam in order to help raise awareness about the genocide which is taking place within our inner cities in America, as well as for me to network with other like-minded individuals who share my concern to solve black, black issues at the local level, one community, one city at a time. Since 2001, over 4,000 people has been in the city of Chicago alone has been killed due to urban violence. African Americans have been protesting and marching for equality and fairness in the United States for 52 years, and still to this day, institutionalized racism and police brutality still exists. Today, our elected black leaders and career politicians have failed us. They are all about themselves because uh, they receive a 501c3 tax-exempt status provided by the same group who created these social problems in the first place, and those are the financial elites. African Americans from the lower economic class are suffering great harm from senseless violence, high unemployment, mass incarceration, police brutality, drug abuse, high illiteracy, inadequate health care, and failing schools as a result of institutionalized racism. How do I know? Because I used to live there and I experienced it firsthand. After 15 years of being rejected, humiliated, and ignored by established black organizations in the city of Chicago, I decided to write and publish my story, quote, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition, in hopes of attracting 30 black middle class professionals and others within the United States who meet the criteria that I'm looking for, which are as follows. I'm looking for investors, business partners, Christian entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, and philanthropists. I'm also looking for legitimate film producers, actors, stage managers, grant writers, technical directors, marketers, accountants, business administrators, social workers, financial planners, lawyers, real estate brokers, and insurance agents. I have my articles of incorporation and my bylaws typed and available for my nonprofit cooperative. I also have my articles of organization typed and available for my for-profit service-based business. Once I have my management team in place, then I will start my Christian business, Rakai, which is the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Under the nonprofit cooperative, Rakai will be governed by an advisory board. Rakai will be membership-based and operate for the mutual benefit of our members. Also, any earnings we we make are returned to our members in the forms of lower prices through our quality programs and services. Our members come first and we will commit to providing trust and understandable information. Under the for-profit service-based business, we will offer a state-of-the-art recreational center that offer bowling, high rope adventure courses, captivating game room features and latest video and amusement, stylish billboards, energetic dance rooms, and high-quality restaurants, 
various businesses, on-site child, child care, and an on-site music recording studio for our, for our students making documentary films and stage plays. In addition, we will host family fun activities including combination deals, birthday parties, weddings, and corporate, uh, corporate parties and events. But to add insult to injury, still to this day, I don't have anyone on my management team. 27 years. I'm doing my best to get my message out to, out to the public through my YouTube videos, my social groups, my blog posting, my online talk show, and now through my revised book and upcoming film. Um, the reason why I want to make sure that before I even start my business, I want to have my management team in place because um, Nehemiah was called by God to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And he used qualified uh, bricklayers, engineers, architects. He didn't build that wall by himself. And so that's the hardest part to uh, get through my racial group that, um, you know, they think that, um, you know, I have a business plan and this and that. And, you know, I should be able to do all that stuff by myself. This is not for me. This is for um, actually the millennials. This organization is for you. My generation has failed me because I'm from Generation X. Uh, I'm in my 40s now. I've been pushing this thing since I was in in my early 20s. So, uh, yes, it's, it's getting frustrating. and uh, I'm just asking the Lord to just give me strength to just uh, continue just a little bit longer. But um, I am asking my African audience, please... And I stress this. Please don't be like black Americans. I don't have another 27 years to waste. I'm trying to do something positive for our, our racial group. And um, I don't have steps. So if I have somebody coming to me that's just, you know, they just bunch of talk and they don't want to um, be committed to this stuff. What I'm pushing, you know, I just tell them to keep it moving. Gracam is a Christian socialist organization. For me, Christian socialism is an authentic form of Christianity. A Christian socialist is a a Christian socialist is a form of socialism based on the teaching of Jesus. Many Christian socialists believe that capitalism is idolatrous and rooted in greed, social inequality, and institutionalized racism which most Christian denominations consider a moral sin. We, we will focus on what we stand for, and that is love, compassion, social justice, and liberation theology. Jesus told us to focus on the least of these in society, according to Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 to 40. He also commanded us to be witness to others, not just for us to read his word, but to activate social change in the world. According to Luke chapter 4, verse 18 through 19, we will be committed to the healing ministry of Jesus by showing compassion to inner city youth and their families, which will help promote uh, dignity to the people and community we, we will serve. We will promote an authentic form of Christianity, and again for me that is Christian socialism. We will emphasize the importance of morals and character, de character development for both our Christians as well as our non-Christians because Gurkham is open to also secular people just as long as they follow our um, um, community pledge and sign that um, form. We will also focus on strengthening the black family and focus on solving black issues by promoting a black economic agenda. My book is an autobiography about my experience growing up in the inner cities of Chicago. In my book, I provide a 21st century plan on how my Christian organization 
will help eradicate urban violence in the city of Chicago and beyond, while at the same time, time meet the social needs of the community and families that want to utilize our programs and services. My book is the foundation of my business. Grakai will be operated under five separate function, functions within the African American community. Those functions are as follows. A social service component, a spiritual component, which is op optional for secular people, a political component, an, entrepre an entrepreneur component, and an entertainment component. The mission to eradicate urban violence in the city of Chicago, reduce poverty, fight against structural inequality and institutionalized racism, and help end police brutality within the communities and cities we will serve. To promote economic opportunities in the black community by, by being an advocate and resource for our members. The vision, help promote our members' businesses through our marketing initiatives, public relation campaigns, and advertisement, which, which will reach local, national, and international markets. Increase exposure. We will sponsor local events such as our stage plays to highlight our members' businesses during our networking events. Drive tourism to the community. Highlight our cause, which is help stop the genocide in American ghettos. This will create a positive public Im image that gains respect for the black community. We will provide a family-friendly environment for tourists visiting Chicago, as well as for our local uh, residents. Champion black businesses. Rakai is an urban voice of advocacy for the black community. Our objective is to build a strong foundation for our programs and services to succeed. Serve the black community. We will offer a 21st century strategy on solving black issues, strengthening single black families that want to utilize our programs and services through, our, through educational projects and neighborhood initiatives. Now my goal or my vision for Africa, I have a, I have a desire to reconnect with my ancestral homeland. It's my hope to connect with African immigrants within the United States that want to work with me in expanding Rakai in Africa. Those of you who live in Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Angolia, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda, please encourage your family and friends who reside in Canada. Europe and in the United States to purchase my revised book and read my story. This will help speed up the process for me to recruit brave and smart African immigrants in America to assist me in setting up 10 chapters on the African continent. We will go through the proper channels with their government to start our non-government organization. We will offer private employment to our clients and members based on our budget and sponsorship. We will provide infrastructure for clean running water, agricultural technology to feed the people, and most, and most of all help improve the African economy as well as educate the people about the problems with capitalism and show them an alternative. Grecam. In time, we will expand to Brazil and the Caribbean islands. I'm just one black man with a plan and a vision. It takes a team to make a dream work. Grecam is a global community of thinkers and builders. I need your help to move Grecam from behind a computer into our commu urban communities that need our talents and skills. I believe this action of human collaboration across an open platform is essential to the low-income African-American community and our collective future. Trapped in Trump's America, over the last two years, we have come face to face with every question that the 
system pose for those who want a better world? How do we confront the growing far right? How do we organize against all forms of racism and oppression? How do we organize to push aside the existing world order so that we can build a society based on human need instead of one propped up by exploitation and oppression? And the answer is all in my revised book. Join the grassroots community activist movement to overcome the crisis of our time. Since black America has rejected my plan for over 15 years, I decided to make my organization membership based and private. Everyone must be screened and must, and must attend our mandatory orientation and sign the community pledge, no exceptions. No hardened criminals, no active gang members, no urban terrorists, no pedophiles, no half-steppers allowed in my organization. This is how I get down. The CAM is open to all ordinary law-abiding citizens, all racial groups, and undiscovered artists. This is my this is my contribution back to my community, society, and throughout the African diaspora. Um, thank you for listening to this podcast. And um, again, you don't just have to talk to me um, during my uh, anniversary for um, the cam. I'm always available. Uh, send me a friend request if you're not um, on my friends list on Facebook. And um, also include your email address and I send you all my information and um we could work something out so that way I can get you to come on my podcast and you can promote your uh, business, your ministry, or if you have special talents and skills, you can come on the show and share that uh, with my listeners. Um, bottom line, I'm not looking for celebrities. My focus is on working with ordinary law-abiding citizens, people that want more out of life. In time, we will um, offer a second chance program for I would say um, for ex-offenders, for nonviolent crimes, um, we also will be, be willing to work with um, former gang members as long as they truly uh, let go of their um, gang affiliation and as long as they haven't, um, you know, killed anyone, you know, violence and stuff like that. Because if that's on their record, then, you know, uh, I have to send them somewhere else. But um, we'll let them in. And we also have a door open for, um, I would say, uh, homeless individuals uh, in the community. But as um, far as I'm concerned, everyone will be screened. Um, I only want to focus on my members. We can't help everybody, even in God's word. He says the poor will be with us always. I only want to work with people that want more out of life, families that want to utilize our programs and services. Um, and again, this is my last attempt to get this organization started in the city of Chicago. Um, 27 years is a long time. Um, I'm very serious about trying to do something. But um, again, I refuse to kiss up the couple, bow down to any man or woman to um, compromise um, the, um, what my creator has uh, placed in me. You know, it is what it is. If you're not interested, keep it moving. Uh, those that don't like what I'm saying on my um, Facebook pages or other sites that I'm on, such as uh, Google Plus or um, LinkedIn or Twitter, if you don't like what I'm saying, please delete me and just keep it moving. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you again for allowing me to um, have an opportunity to... Um, use this platform to get my message out. I'm doing the best that I can, Lord. I've been tearing with this vision, Lord, for two, um, going on 27 years on uh, Saturday. Thank you again for Sister Renee, even though she just came in um, my life uh, and been working with me for the past seven years, but just still thank you for her. Um, just bring other faithful people, Lord, that's going to be willing to work with me, Lord. Um, 
touch the hearts and minds of my foreign um, friends, that's my, my international friends, Lord. Let them um, share my information with their people, Lord, because in order for me to expand to Africa, I have to have uh, connections with people in Africa. And I want to know people there. I'm trying to be, I'm showing myself friendly. And uh, so have your way in that uh, situation. Uh, again, Lord, just have mercy on my racial group, Lord. Um, do this business, let me be able, Lord, to declare war against this Willie Lynch mentality within the black culture. is so sickening. It turns me off. It makes me very upset as a black man. That black people uh, don't know how to get along with each other. Even within my family, you know, they have issues, Lord. Have problems getting along with each other. But nevertheless, Lord, just thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have peace, inner peace, Lord. And that's the same way I'm going to run my business. And uh, I come against Satan's system right now. Your cam is not part of uh, Caesar. We're doing our own thing through the business to help change um, all this uh, social injustice and things like that. Women will be treated equally, especially our black women and our black queens. You will make the same amount of money that a black man makes or in any other man that's uh, part of this organization. You have my word on that. Um, just doing, again, the best that I can to get this thing moved from behind a computer. Again, it's not my fault I can't find qualified people. Just saying. Uh, nevertheless, Lord, just thank you again for this opportunity. Um, Please, Lord, just let this movie be successful. Let me uh, bless me, Lord, again with um, the resources, uh, the manpower, quality um, actors, Lord. Bless me and Sister Renee, Lord, with the spirit of discernment. So that way, Lord, we don't end up um, shaking hands with the enemy, Lord, the devil. People that want to see uh, this business um, stay uh, stagnant. So please just bless this film, Lord. Let it... Um, let it um, be a blessing to other people, Lord, more than just um, for myself, Lord. Uh, but let it be a blessing, Lord, for uh, society. Um, let it be a blessing, Lord, for my racial group. I want to pro um, project positive things. Everything in the inner city is not all horrible. That's um, what um, the enemy wants. And that's what um, people that hijack um, the black community for their own gain. Um, that's what they want to portray it as. We just go in there to just try to um, give people an opportunity to, to grow up in a safe environment because it's, we're going to try our best to turn that situation around. Again, we can't fight against, it's not against uh, flesh and blood, it's, it's uh, principalities in high places. We, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, that's what I'm saying, the principalities according to um, the book of Ephesians. But um, nevertheless, Lord, just thank you again. And thank everyone again for um, watching and listening this, to this podcast. Peace and blessings.